Welcome to Booze Under Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a maple whiskey column. In fact, that has two of my favorite things, whiskey and maple syrup. And when you can put them together, absolutely fantastic. Now, this is a shaken cocktail, and the cocktail itself is based on uh, Tom Collins. However, we change up the sweetener and we change up the base spirit and we add at least one more ingredient. Now, we are going to start with our sweetener and that is truly magnificent Canadian maple syrup, which would be a fantastic name brand if it existed. Having said that, we're going to start that off with a half an ounce or 15 mils. And I do recommend that you actually play around with the amount of maple syrup that you want because maple syrup is stronger than a simple syrup. If you're thinking like for like, you'll actually find it may be too sweet. So if you're going with a simple syrup, you may need a little bit more. However, uh, you might find this amount of the maple syrup as a little bit more than you want. So I would suggest trying smaller amounts and you know just get it to where you really, really want it. So what we're also going to do now is we're going to balance that out with a little bit of lemon juice. And we're going to use the same amount, so you'll just cut this in half and squeeze a half an ounce or 15 mils of lemon juice and pour that into the glass. And now that every single one of my Canadian viewers is horrified, including those of you in the Northeastern United States, the idea of mixing maple syrup with something is truly an anathema because maple syrup's fantastic. It really is. Um, I'm gonna add another ingredient, that being pineapple juice. Now I'm using a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. And we're going to use an ounce and a half, which is 45 mils. Our next step in the process is to shake this with some ice. So you wanna fill your glass about three quarters of the way full. And we don't necessarily want to overly dilute this because we'll be adding some soda water. But what you wanna do is make sure that we actually chill this appropriately. So again, like I said, Fill your glass with ice. Make sure you got a good seal. Give it a flip, shake it with a smile. All right, so what you wanna do is pop that off with the strength of a thousand lemons. Now, one of the things that you will notice is because of the pineapple juice, you are going to get some foam. So what we're going to do is just basic strain this with our Hawthorne strainer, and we're going to serve this in a highball glass. Now this is an 11 ounce, 330 milliliter glass, and we'll just fill it almost all the way to the top with some ice. And you will most likely have a little bit left over because we still need to add a little bit of soda water to this. So what we'll do is just, yeah, put it in a glass. And now sitting here looking at this, it looks fantastic, but I forgot the whiskey. <laughs> ah. Having said that, we need an ounce and a half of whiskey. Now I'm using a good Canadian whiskey here that's a bit of a rye base, so it'll be a little bit spicy and a little bit sweet. It's gonna work perfectly with this. And I'm using some swear jar just cause, not only do I like the whiskey itself, I love the bottle. And for this, we're going to use an ounce and a half or 45 mils. <laughs> and you know the sad part is I haven't been drinking at all. You'd think, no problem, Dave will get the booze in there, but no. Dave has absolutely no idea what he's doing today because, you know, I really want this cocktail. Now, let's try this again. And it's already pretty much diluted, so we're just gonna shake it to uh, give it a bit of a chill because we don't want to overshake it at this point. Um, now it looks like there's the right amount, except I have more ice in there than when I started. I'll try it again with some fresh ice, just because I want to actually be able to uh, pour this in there without making a huge mess. And top tip, don't do what David just did. Build your cocktail properly. Now there is some leftover in here, as I said. However, we're now going to go to soda water. In this case, I'm just using some carbonated water. Um, you don't need a lot. We're just going to actually top this up now. 
Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Grab yourself a spoon and try not to make a huge mess because I've literally just filled it further than it should be. And all you're doing is just sort of mixing the soda water just enough. Grab yourself a straw because I can't be bothered to garnish this and neither should you. <clears throat> oh, absolutely fantastic. The whiskey is there. You get those hints of the maple syrup, a little bit of the lemon, and the pineapple is just an undercurrent. Actually, it blends together. Fantastic. If you like gorgeous style uh, long drinks like this, take a look after the recipe card right up here.